today we are returning back to news review you know big stuff coming out of comic con like marvel and a little bit of warner brothers and then like some other things here and there and then lastly from marvel we had the she hulk trailer and the black panther 2 trailer oh my god there was more marvel news <laughs> Okay, it's time for the DC hour. I spent like, <laughs> it's been 30 minutes of recording time for me. I don't know how long it's been for you, but uh, DC came in a little short this year. Uh, I'm just gonna have to give that announcement overall a disappointing two out of 10. <laughs> it's like, literally they only, as far as I'm concerned, brought two things into Hall H today uh, or this weekend, which was the Shazam trailer and then Black Adam, and they also brought The Rock. And so I'm not entirely sure where DC is trying to take things right now. You know, they've they've they're really kind of muddled up. I will give the Shazam trailer a a good eight because wow. I do I've been talking about Shazam for a really long time now, and I love Zachary Levi. So that gets an eight. That looks like a really fun adventure. Black Adam, I went over that trailer the last time. I'm still at like a one. <laughs> Black Adam doesn't look good. He looks too overpowered. It looks like there's no conflict. I'm not really seeing where the interest in this movie should lie. So that gets a one. And then not only that, there were a lot of people who were hoping that Henry Cavill would come back to kind of say, hey guys, look at me, I'm still Superman, but actually he didn't show up at all. So it to me felt like DC really had no aces up their sleeve. They didn't have Cavill. They couldn't bring Ezra Miller for Flash, because, <laughs> right? Um, and, it, you know, but even a Michael Keaton, right? Like, hey, this is how we're gonna be moving forward with the Flash movie. Like, we're just gonna put Michael Keaton front center. They didn't do that. Oh, and Aquaman as well, Aquaman 2. Is there Jason? No, Jason Momoa wasn't there. I don't I don't think he was there. You've got the whole thing about Amber Heard that's messing that up as well. So it's just been a lot. And I know that DC had DC fandom. So they're like, listen guys, we already threw our cards out on the table. But yeah, looking back and seeing what DC has done, I'm kind of disappointed even as you know a kind of mid sort of dc fan i mean i converted to batmanism this year so i am invested in dc okay even if the, if they had brought out you know any sort of additional info about like the batman 2 even though i know that's still early maybe they would have got a perfect 10 but yeah i'm i'm disappointed in you dc we need to get it together okay now let's dive into the miscellaneous tab i really only have two things saved one of those is john wick 4 and you might be surprised to find that I have never seen a John Wick movie in my entire life. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I do like Keanu Reeves. Let me, okay, let me just take a look at this here. Cause the trailer did come out for John Wick 4, so. No. Bill Skarsgård, okay. Is he always in these movies? Can kill everyone. Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, let's go. John Wick 4. Coming March 24, 2023. Yeah, this looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm gonna give this a perfect 10 just for um, Keanu Reeves. I mean, anything he touches is automatically gold, even Cyberpunk 2077. So that is a solid 10, baby. That is gold all the way. They also released the Dungeons and Dragons movie trailer. Now I'm gonna, <laughs> straight up, I'm gonna give this news a, a four out of 10 cause I don't like Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Closest I get to liking Dungeons and Dragons is because of uh, Stranger Things. So I'm not into that. I'm not into this type of fantasy aside from Game of Thrones with the dragons and okay and also aside from Harry Potter and also aside from but all but that that's where I draw the line I do like that they've got Chris Pine and the hot guy from Bridgerton so that looks really cool but it just doesn't seem like my type of movie so it's a four out of ten for me uh, but I'm sure for a lot of other people it looks like a good eight out of ten if they can really pull this thing off so let's uh, let's do a recap here we had Marvel's phases four five and six uh, some wonky stuff going down with DC. We had D and D trailer, John Wick. There was also some Walking Dead stuff, House of the Dragon, interview with the vampire. There was some good stuff roaming around at Comic Con. So if I could give this 2022 Comic Con a rating, I would give it 
let's say 6.5. You know, I don't, I don't think there was anything worth like standing up and cheering over or like any huge super duper moments where you're like, wow, that's gonna go down in Comic-Con history. Like, I feel like 2019 Marvel had a really big display and thinking about the other, was that 2019 or that other year where they had like the Justice League cast come and stuff like that. So this one was um, fun. It was nice to see that Comic-Con was back in full swing, but I also think that now because you have like D23 and DC Fandom, it's like everyone can just kind of announce stuff whenever they want which makes Comic-Con announcements, you know, kind of not as cool anymore. But it is still a high level of cool factor. It's just like, okay, you're just not the only one anymore. But I will say Comic-Con is definitely experienced. I've been twice, I've been once with a group of friends and again with a group of friends, but I was there as press doing interviews and I was in Hall H and feeling the momentum. So it's just really fun. I'm really looking forward to hopefully going to Comic-Con in 2023. Book me for your next panel, guys. I have so much to say. <laughs> But otherwise, let me know what uh, some of your favorite announcements were from Comic-Con, what you would rate them, and um, my tummy is growling. That's not nice. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out my Thor Love and Thunder spoilers chat if you haven't checked that one out already. That was a fun video, and I will see you in the next video.